Hello boys and girls, and welcome to my channel. It's all about recycling. Today we're going to be breaking up some big wooden boxes and putting them all back together again with a little bit of help from hopefully an empty bottle of fairy liquid and some double sided sticky tape. Roll the intro. So this is going to be my first ever recycling video. Not your normal garden waste or household trash. A set of these speakers. Homemade. Back about two years ago, I built my own speakers, and this is a recycling video on what I'm going to build out of these. So we've got two-way, full-range disco speakers here. They're sounding pretty good, actually. Uh, if you don't believe me, watch this video. So there you go. All set up, ready to go. So as you can tell they did sound good in the time, fortunately after about two years of being stored in the shed upstairs in the attic uh, the boxes have become very very threadbare. The speakers should be okay, uh, so, the, so the tweeters as well, but uh, I'm not recycling the tweeters. I'm going to make these base bins out of these uh, base units I've got in here, and a few other little bits as well. So come with me on the journey, settle down, buckle up, and here we go. So that's the first one stripped out. Um, took everything out, including the top hat. Uh, everything else is gone, all the corners. That box is now useless, it's going to be thrown away. What I'm going to be reusing is the top hat, all the corners, uh, the phono jack. I am going to get another one of these as well because uh, I plan on using the input from the amplifier into the bass speaker, then another one out up into the uh, ones that are on the stands or on my poles. Uh, two handles, my adjustable crossover, which you can adjust on variations of using these pins here. Grills, like I say, I'm not using these again, and I'm not using this again. But let me show you the speaker. So, this is the um, Sound Lab base driver I've got, still in very good condition. Um, like I say, I've only used it a couple of times and never pushed them. No noise coming from there, no grinding or anything, so they're perfectly okay. The edges are a bit um, rumpled up, but that's just because I've had the grill attached to them quite tightly. I plan on actually putting these inside the cabinet next time, so uh, instead of being on the outside, I'll put them inside the cabinet and put the grill on the, on the outside of the wood. So that's them. Um, so right, on to part two, which will be building the cabinets for the new uh, base drivers. And I've got two of these, by the way. Um, this is just the one. I've got to strip the other one down yet. So on to the cabinet building. Right, as with all good things, it's best to design them first, and this is my design for my new base cabinets. Uh, there's two reasons why I've gone with this design and etc. First off, I've already got the 12 inch drivers, so I may as well use them. Uh, and also, I'm restricted in space in my vehicle. Uh, you've got to think about this when you actually design things like this. Can you transport them? Have you got enough room in your vehicle to transport them? So that's one of the reasons why I've gone with these dimensions. So let me go through with it with you. Uh, call me old fashioned but I'm working in inches. Uh, and these are the interior sizes. This is the interior sizes. Um, depending on the thickness of your wood you're going to be using, the exterior is going to be different. So I've gone with interior sizes on this. Uh, right, so it's going to be 15 inches across by 16 and a half inches high because we're actually taking into that, that piece into account as well when you're doing the interior uh, volume so it's 16 and a half inches high by 16 inches 
in depth. I know, I know it says 17 there, but I've got a one inch recess there for the speaker to go into. So it's not going to be full, fully at the front. Uh, it's going to be recessed back by an inch. So that's the reason why it's 16 inches. And it does actually say it down here as well. Now that gives me a volume of cubic inches of uh, 4,207.5 cubic inches, which equates to just shy of 69 liters. Now that's important, 69 liters. So if I come down to this book down here, which is my Fain uh, book, a loudspeaker enclosure design and construction, which gives you all the methods to making these kind of speakers. Um, it tells you all about uh, port sizing, reflex tubes, ducting, and everything else. If I come across to uh, that one there, now forget about the the, the horn hole there because this is a two-way system. I'm only going on this design pure and simply because it says in the constructions simple and straightforward so simple and straightforward construction uh, like I say this is a, based on a full range system but I'm not going with that at all this is only purely for the design and the port size which is across the bottom here which I'll we'll go through that with you in a second now they're recommending 51 litres uh, 3200 cubic inches Mine is just shy of 69 litres, so it's a little bit bigger on the, and I think that's mainly because of the depth. A lot of these speaker build things here, if you can see that, is only 12 and a half inches in depth. Mine is completely, it's 17 inches in depth, so, or 16 inches for the interior. So that's probably one of the reasons why my volume is so high. Uh, yeah, just shy of 60, uh, 69 litres. They've gone with 51 litres. Uh, now, ducting port size. To get a resonance from the speaker of 45 hertz, dim A is 5 inches, which is that piece there, dim A. Dim B, as you can see here, which is the actual height, now they've gone with 1.18. I've gone with 1.5. So hopefully somewhere between 45 and 55 hertz, I should get a response from my speaker. I'm not saying I will, but that's what I'm hoping to get. I can't go with the information down here because, again, that's based on their speakers that they're using and also a horn. So you can't get the response levels like that from my speaker. Uh, just a quick one if you are doing this and using a 15 inch, by the way, these are based on 15 inch speakers. And I bet some of you can remember the names of them speakers Colossus 15 e and what is it? Studio 15B L and G. Uh, they are recommending here 106 litres volume. Again, that is based on having a horn in there as well, because it is horn based, horn loaded. Uh, but then you get down to 35 hertz, because evidently it's going to be a bigger speaker, 15 inch. Uh, so you're going to get more bass out of that anyway. So that's why I've gone with that design there, because it's based roughly on a 12 inch driver all based on 12 inch drivers so that's my design time to start building so you might ask yourself at this stage why don't I just go out and buy a pair um, simple reason is uh, the amount of work I get doesn't warrant me going out and spending loads of money on an expensive pair of speakers um, if I was let's say doing two or three gigs a month then maybe yes but at the moment because I don't advertise as such uh, the work is few and far between so it doesn't warrant me going out at the moment and buying expensive speakers it's mate doing mend at the moment and see what I can make out of what I've already got so this is the first of two I've actually built um, as you can see it's braced at the back there I don't know if you can see it let me put the light on oh, that's a little bit better for you right let me go on with this for you uh, I've braced the back piece on both sides I've still got to do the bottom piece and the top piece yet brace round all four sides of the back plate because I don't want that rattling the more screws you can get into that back plate the better it will be uh, I've also braced down the front sides as well uh, you've got the five inch ducting size going into this peaky cabinet and it is about an inch and a half in height going all the way across so that's a 15 inch diameter going across and five inches going back um, remember when you're actually building cabinets like this you've actually got to think about what you're measuring uh, if you're measuring uh, thickness of wood like that you want to go with internal 
sizes so remember I'm, I've gone 15 inches so from there across to there is 15 inches forget about the width on the outside I'm measuring on the inside diameters so I'm working on the inside diameters of the when I'm measuring up to cut everything out so it's 15 inches across by 17 inches back uh, that's from the back plate to the edge of the speaker there and the height wise I think it was 15 inches from the base to the roof as well so there we go uh, hole cut out ready for the speaker to go into I've got still got to cut some holes out in the back plate there for the connectors uh, one's going to be in and then straight to the output then they're going to have two wires going up to the crossover which will be filtered to allow the uh, I think it's low pass filter anything below a certain thing that will come onto this speaker here uh, it's all going to be carpeted got to get it all carpeted and all the edgings and everything else put on it as well so I've already got the holes cut out there as you can see ready for the um the pole to go into and yeah that's about it really carpet it get all the connections done put all the gubbins in it and we shall be testing it before we build the next one god there's loads left yet 